you were uh, sort of the star of this press conference in an indirect sort of way. Do you yeah. care to answer any of the questions that TJ wasn't directing directly well, to you? Well, you know, this, this is all I have to say. You know, I build strong relationships with families. They called me last night. said, Coach, what do we do? I explained the rules to them. That's all I do. Explain the rules to them. And then nothing else. Nothing else than that. They have options. There are rules in recruiting, and they trust me. And that's all that happened. So you're saying you're answering the phone, you're not placing the calls. Well, th there were some calls made to me, and there were some calls that I made to explain the rules to some recruits, and that's what we did. Not specifically to recruit them here to USC? Well, just to explain the rules. You know, those guys were really close to me, and they trusted me, and that's what I did. What will your take on the recruiting tactic be? Obviously, you've been so in the mix in recruiting with yes. Tennessee. You're familiar with the players yes. that you've been recruiting there. Yes. You're familiar with a lot of the guys here in Southern yes. California from having been here before. Yeah. Lane Kiffin kind of t touched on the fact that he told Tennessee, we won't go after guys, but right. if they call us, will that be your take as well? Yeah, you know, I'm going to follow what Coach wants. We, we, you know, there's a lot of guys that are not coming out the University of Southern California. But there may be one or two guys that call us and say, Coach, you know, we have not signed a national letter of intent. So there's really nothing against the rules for them to call us and say, Coach, we changed our mind. They may change their mind and go to Alabama. They may change their mind and go to Florida because we're not there. So, yes, if a, coach, if a player would entertain the thought of coming out here, I'm sure he'd listen.